At 15, top three finish at the U.S. Open. Ches Revy should be a little quick. But no problem stopping it when it goes in the heart of the hole. Pace and line matching it up. No easy task there, and well done. 16. Ches Revy, the top tracer presented by Optiman. It's going to show that nice little draw. And good shot. It's a tough flag to go today. There's all kinds of breaks in this. Should go back to the left. Oh, come on. There you go. Come on. And I'm told that is not only his longest made putt today, but of the year to finish up with a 65. for a par par start. And all of a sudden he's chasing. Four back. Come back. Yeah. Nice. So both with good chances there at the third. Playing some break here, Kurt. Mm -hmm. Well out to the left. Little downhill. Back into the wind, though. That's probably why it didn't get there. And a top 20 at the Wells Fargo, top 15 at the PGA Championship. Didn't make it to the weekend at Colonia. Over to Chaz now. Coming off a third place tie at Pebble Beach. I mean, he played beautifully last week. Boy, the course looked great there, didn't it? Now, Ches Reavy on the tee. One more club, Peter. Ches's greatest strength is he really doesn't have any weaknesses. He is very proficient in virtually all areas of the game. That line does not appear to be aiming well out to the right. I guess it must have been the camera angle because that was center cut. Oof. That's got to be gusting up 15, 20, Dottie. Oh, easily, yes. It's going to go some. What a oh, kick. Oh, you're not kidding. Off the side of that bank. Got a little uphill, about 15 feet. Not bad. That was a good putt. Put it right where he wanted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, may have just got that little gust from the wind, certainly blowing that direction that ball died on. I think the speed's anything to be frightened of. Chance perhaps for a two shot swing. Oh, it was a good looking stroke. Oh, there you go. Put a little heat. Threes at 10, rare today. All right, let's see if this is the easiest part on the green. Evidently. That's a different ball game, Peter Costas. Yep. It's, uh, it's amazing how quickly things can change out here. As Caddy said, he's been good about taking his medicine the last month or two. This is a good opportunity to do just that. <laughs> Better than that. Fantastic. I want some of that medicine, Dottie. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. With a refill. <laughs> what a shot there, Jimmy. Mindset just changed for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And there's your new leader. Blew it back into the wind. It will go pretty hard left to right on the ground. You can see the severity of the slope to bring that all the way down, hole high. It's a good up and down from where he was. 
keeps his record out of the bunkers intact for the week. Perfect, three for three and four in a row. Really steady week for Ches Reeve, emblematic of his entire season, the last couple of years, in fact. And that one left for Birdie to pad the lead here. It's a lot when you say it's the best you've ever struck it. Thank you so much, Jason Day. Back out to you, Jim. And then well, number 17. I uh, went just in time to see Ches Reeve's second shot. That was with a six iron, needed 177 to get it on the upper deck, and boy, he got it plus a little more. Uh, that was just terrific. Kept it on that plateau, which was really difficult to do. And he's got it inside of 10 feet. 35 for 47 inside of 10 feet this week. Make that a 46 out of 48. And another birdie for Ches Reeve. He gets to 15 under par. And as windy as it was earlier, equally quiet. And a great angle, Dottie. Beautiful, beautiful angle, oh, yes. yes. Looks like it's right down the stack. Oh, 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 oh. He'll have that putt to match what VJ first established here as a back nine scoring record back in 1998 with VJ shot 28, which I'm now can Reevy tie the back nine record at TPC River Highlands with one stroke. Just like that. 28 coming home. 63, third round. Round of the day. Oof. <laughs> what a back nine. Better's DeChambeau, 64 by a shot. And Reavy. Love it! 432, yeah, the wind now. is Perfect. helping slightly from the right. Just got to avoid the bunkers. There it is again. So I think he sort of feels good about escaping with that, that yeah. lie, the tee shot on number two. Still wants to try to attack and make some more birdies. This is an opportunity right here. There, there it is. There you go. Yep. Hybrid, something like that for his second shot, if he, especially if he doesn't pound one. Feels like a drop shot. It's not, but gives one up to Keegan Bradley, who makes the putt. But how about Reeve? As he saw for just a brief flash, it go down to four. Answers right on top of it. A birdie of his own. Taking it to 17 under with the birdie at the fourth. Driving iron for Reevy. And this one. On a good line. And that's going to provide a good look at Bird. Reevy, a one time winner on tour, 250 starts between them. If he can pick one up today. Well, a tap in here at the par three. Keegan Bradley also will tap in for par. Change in elevation there. It was, uh, he put on a clinic. Good shot, Chess. Yeah, it works with Mark Blackburn. Yeah. And right now, just splitting fairways. Tremendous tee shot. Sneaks it in. He's been solid, hasn't he, Frank? He has. A sort of a busy green, just get it in the right neighborhood and have a look at it. This did start just at the center and starting to slide right. Just how he drew it up. Very comfortable swing. He had a good week at the PGA as well, so yeah, confidence is a big deal right now. Look how much this breaks. Man, that was a sidewinder. Yeah, the speed was good. It just broke a little more than he was expecting. And that was a slippery one across that slope. That's a pitching wedge. That'd be taking dead aim. Top tracer technology, and I think he is. Just barely to the right to start. Which is what you want. It should and go left. Safe shot. Had to be long. It'll be a, a little downhill left to right putt, but uh, 15 feet, not too bad. That's where so many different things can happen. Par five, then you got the 
drivable par 4 15th and water lurking at 16 and 17 and Reevee is even for the day excuse me gap wedge well taking the same playbook from Keegan going with the aggressive swing terrific results underneath the hole for Chez Reevee same at the last Go ahead and release it. Yeah, that's another one that was, I mean, it went past the hole, but it was short of the pace that he had read into the putt. All right, pair of fours for the final two at the 14th. Aggressive, very aggressive. How about that reply? Talk about shot. a big shot at a big time. That's what Chaz Reedy just did right there. This would be a really, really big one to get for Chaz. Just like back over at 15. Just slipped underneath the hole, so. Gonna be a couple pars here that Bradley can clean up. And an opportunity to shut the door. Yep, 155 yard shot would be really well played. Let the slope bring it back. Well, <laughs> he elected to live bravely, but he has a good putt at it from now. <laughs> Just outside of 14 feet for Chez. Let's watch. Just as we suspected, just that little lack of pressure frees up the stroke. Well judged. We have another one from off the green here. <laughs> How good is that? Very well respected and liked by his peers. It's going to be a popular win. Been a long time coming. Chez Reevee back in the winner's circle. Big hug there from Justin York. He's a big part of that team. Big nod to Justin York.